So I'm currently in um, like South East Iowa and I'm on my way after recovering my items from uh, Illinois, wait, Missouri. I'm on my way back to Iowa City to begin my intense training. No, 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 not to begin, but to continue my intense training. I mean, phenomenal training. I feel I will be in excellent, excellent shape to dominate um, in South Dakota. Not this. All right. So this was a position I had against um, Safal Bora, my last round. And um, not that I wanted to go like super deep into um, what happened during this game, because for a, for a large part of it, I think I was worse, if not losing. Uh, but as the time scramble approached, there were two key moments where uh, things started to look much better for me. So one of the issues I had with the uh, uh, with this position um, before he, I think he, uh, okay. So the issue earlier was that his bishop was on b7 and targeting the h1 square. So it was very hard for me to um, sidestep uh, threats there, um, or I, I have to deal with threats along the uh, first rank too. So I played in my game. Um, I think this is, this was one of the points where he was getting low on time and, um, was losing the thread. I think as, as he mentioned, the moment, um, I was able to find the move queen to a three, which would have, which pretty much, uh, took all of the, uh, steam out of his, um, winning position, uh, because I'm covering the C one square and I'm also threatening, uh, making threats of like uh, queen to c8 if his if his rook jumps off the uh, eighth rank um, this pretty much brought the uh, game back to equality and from this point um, once I've reached equality that's when he started uh, losing the thread which is natural because um, normally when you're leading and then you're all of a sudden like there's nothing in the position then it's hard to like re readjust your your thought process so um after a few more moves um things had begun to look much better for me uh because i was able to calmly deal with the pressure on f2 and then i had i was given the time i'm not sure if all of this was correct but um a4 was played because he probably knew that i wanted to play bishop to g2 but he also wanted to try to see if he can pick off a pawn uh, if I got a little bit um, complacent. So everything uh, worked out for me because after bishop to g2, then he gives up, he gives me the diagonal. And I was able to uh, solidify or my bishop on that diagonal with c6 as well as disconnect his rook and queen. So there were like no threats of like rook to d6. Then from this point, there were two key moments where I um, played superficially and gave him the, or I guess brought the position back to equality. And I wanted to mention those. So all this looked pretty nice. And then we got to my first mental uh, laps here. I was trying to come up with a move. I think I was probably in uh, time trouble too. As you can see by the clock, I had about five minutes on my on my clock and I had to come up with something productive. Um, I thought the uh, last shot that he has had would have been attacking me along my along the uh, first rank, but I sort of mis-evaluated that because my bishop would have been covering the key square that uh, things could have been, gone horribly wrong for me on. Um, that would be h1. Because when the bishop was on the board, then I was considering um, combos with the bishop and the rook on the uh, first rank. But that's covered. 
and the real thing that I needed to transition to is uh, trying to work on uh, promoting one of my ex or my extra queenside pawn. So just get my king out of danger, and then start reorganizing to win on the queen side. And the move that didn't do that was king to g2, but a move that I was thinking about um, before this is how much or how awesome my position would have been if I were capable of playing the move h4. Now, in time trouble, I was probably uh, principled to avoid uh, pawn structure weaknesses, but um, h4 would have allowed my king to um, sit himself on the h2 square and there would be no touching my king which means all my focus could start readjusting to um, uh, attack. So h4 here would have been the, uh, the, best, the better move or the best move. But then the final uh, error I had uh, going into this game was when I figured out, when I figured out how to, um, see I was probably opting for a draw here, but when I, was, when I figured out how to um, uh, save my king after this little combination here when his rook was his rook was positioning to um, uh, to hit the second rank if either if my rook came off uh, f2 and I was kind of running out of productive moves here so in the end I ended up weakening my position but a weakness I thought I could cover. Um, I went for h3 this time because I didn't need the whole h4. I just wanted to slightly weaken my position, but also um, be able to, again, move my king over to h2 and just be nice and comfortable. And I expected this move to follow, but in my ru or rush, all I was thinking about was eliminating the danger. As you can see, um, I was down to about 34 seconds, and the quick move that came to my mind to eliminate that danger was queen to g4. However, the miss I made here was I can still eliminate that danger, but also I can keep my chances alive by playing the move queen to e5. And, if, and had I uh, decided to solve the problem with queen to e5 rather than opting for exchanging queens, even if it came at a slight cost of my my position, then I would have been dominating. And that would have been a nice change of pace, uh, possibly a position that I would have gone on to get that dub because eventually the uh, one of those pawns on the queen side would promote. So this, um, my uh, training routine has been adjusting uh, something significant and I think in probably, technically, it should be about a month of continued training before um, the total package is, un is unleashed. But I think, I think I'm going to decide, I'm going to take a week off, um, not participate in the uh, uh, Chicago tournament, but instead uh, start... Uh, doubling down on my training so that I can be in top shape in South Dakota. That's the game plan.